to our channel. I'm Liam. And I'm Shannon. And today we'll be giving you a tour of our 5409 robotics program. We'll be filling you in on what the Chargers have been up to this build season. Let's start across the hall in electrical. Oh wait, but first we need some safety glasses. Now we're ready to go. Hi. Hello. What's your name? My name is Tal and I'm on the electrical team. And what are you doing today? I'm making gearboxes for the motors for our robot. So right now I'm working on one for the indexer and I'm also making some for our intake, um, our elevator, as well as our climber. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> What are you guys doing over here? So this year we're gonna have two robots that are like pretty much identical. This one's Beta, which is a practice robot. The comp chassis, it's being painted in the manufacturing room. So we're just wiring this one up so the programmers can practice with it while we wire the actual robot. And what will you guys have to do from now until the robot is completed? Well, we have to wire another robot because, you know, we have a comp chassis. But right now what we have, this is only the drivetrain. We're going to add um, an intake, an indexer, a deployment elevator, a climbing elevator, and then I think that's it. That was a shocking update from our electrical team. Let's go see some of our other sub teams down the hall. Now, we would go into manufacturing, but it's way too loud in there. So, we'll save your ears for now. So we've been working on the deployment parts that Design has released and right now on CNC we're doing the bars and we've been doing indexer parts that were released earlier this week that we've gotten from Hayden. Yeah, like she said, I've been working on the indexer parts. I cut the outline and CNC has been precisely cutting it on the big CNCs. Not only that, I've also been working on the deployment parts that have recently been released as well and there's still a few more to come but we're getting there. The rest of the team has been working on the assembly, so we're going to continue with that until the end of the season. Um, we're also working on completing the actual competition robot and making some final iterations. We're now at our practice field where our programmers program and our drive team drives. Let's go talk to them now. What's your name? Jason. And I'm Philip. What are you guys doing today? Today we're working on drive code for our first ever Swerve Drive robot. And I'm working on our vision system, which will be making use of the various uh, April tags around the field to get good positioning values to improve our autos this year with greater efficiency and precision. We're hoping to uh, improve our drive code and its accuracy uh, and getting feedback from our drive team to see uh, if they want anything different in controls. We're also planning on using the vision system to create driver assist like automatic aligns for the amp and the trap, which should increase our, uh, decrease our cycle times. And we're also going to be working on creating different auto paths uh, for the autonomous period of the game. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Lana. And what are you doing today? So as drive team, we're practicing the ideal route and cycle we would take at competition. And we're just practicing and practicing getting the hand coordinations down in preparation for competition. And what do you guys have to do from now until the robot is done? Game strategy, communication, and just keep on practicing. Hi. What's your name? I'm Yonina. And what are you working on right now? So I'm part of the scouting team this year and what we are doing is just setting up everything for the comp season. So right now I'm working on the pre-scouting, which is essentially for every team member to figure out like what team is doing in what match, how they're competing, and then just trying to figure out who's gonna be doing what. And comp strategy is where we actually do the comp, which is really cool. Drop off the tour, I'm gonna hand it off to business. We just wanted to say thank you to all our amazing sponsors for their generous contributions. Our program would not be possible without you. So once again, thank, thank you. you.